All right. This is our second update on the 80s room. I've just finished doing this shelf up here. The first shelf of about four more, my five total. I wanted to do 10, but I couldn't find enough lumber at my local Lowe's to be able to do all 10 of them. Kind of doing a little different from the shelves I had in the other Bad Raven's Nest. I'm doing more of a, uh, as you see here, let me get some on the side here, what it looks like. I got like a a 1x3 on top of a 1x4. And I was going to put like a little lip up here in the front so those could fall off. May still do that, I don't know. May not. So I got a 1x2 I was going to put right across here. But I think I'll wait on that. I think they'll stay up here without falling off like this. This is just a few VHS tapes I had over here. I just kind of stacked them up to kind of see what it looked like. I want to face them outwards instead of instead of like this. Which I should be able to put them like that. You're going to have a little bit of a hang over there that I don't like. But maybe I could make this a bigger board later. I kind of wanted to make them all face forward. Like a hand, just these very best VHSs. I had to get my, my big box ones back out. I love my big box ones of the Beastmaster and Corvette Summers and Christmas Story and Ice Pirates. I really like those. That's, I moved the couch that was over here last time over here now. I took the end of it off because I had like an extension extends on or I hooked right in here in front you can see the little hooks right here and there and it went on to like this way I took that up to my mom's house kind of got out of the way because we didn't need that much seating the tv and everything that was over here is now over here like I said I was going to move it and mount it on the wall thing it's heavy as lead thanks to the drip dropper helped me get it up there so we brought uh, Jason in here he's got to change his Christmas outfit Halloween, but I put all my players up. Got my big VHS, classic 70 model, and my beta, and then here's my VCR, regular VCR, it's like a new version of the old VCR, the newer VCR. Then below it, you got the laser disc and the CED player. Of course, you're rewinding stuff and a few hot and ends. Got all my laser just kind of stacked here for now. And like I showed you earlier, I got my CEDs here right now. I'm going to mention I groomed for them. I don't think I'll put them over here on the VHS side. I just want this all to be VHS. And I want to make it functional where I can get tapes down and play them. But I actually want to see them played every so often. I know you say, Bad Raven, why are you going to watch the old bad quality uh, on your TV that are a high def? But... I, don't know, I just love the sounds and the looks and the nostalgia of actually being able to play them. So this is the start. This is part two. We are still got we still got a lot of stuff to do. I still got to do stuff on this side. I'm gonna get me a new desk from my nephew over here, Mark, to help me get my computer stuff straightened out. Probably lose a few things in this section that I don't need. So we gotta decide which wall puts what memorabilia on it. But we're on our way. All right, here's all the shelves, all five shelves with a lot, tons of my movies on here. I do have some duplicates and some of that's because I've got some that's been sealed I and mean, I wanna be able to watch the movie. I got an extra one that has not been sealed so I can open it. Like up here with E.T. This one looks like it's been sealed, but it's undone. And this one's sealed, so I this one's sealed, so I went ahead and brought both of them so I could be able to watch ET if I want to. Yeah, I just got finished, and I wanted to show the end of this video of the actual what it actually is going to look like. <laughs> I don't know if I'll put any more shelves. I might. 
I could have possibly put another one at the top here or down here at the bottom. But I don't know the top. I don't want to have to get up on a step ladder, so I might have to put it on the bottom if I want to put any more VHS up. Or I could weed out some of these. Not every one of these are ones I definitely have to have up here. A lot of them are, but still, I want to be able to play with how much I want. And I'm definitely not putting my laser disc and stuff on this wall. I think it'll be too much cluttered. Thought about putting laser at the top, laser disc at the top, and the CDs, but then I have to get a step ladder in here just to get them to play. And I do want to play all the stuff that I got in here. I want to be able to to use it, make it functional to be able to watch over here. Because I got my players, and I need to be able to actually be able to grab whatever I want to watch and stick it in the player. But so I'm the little debate, and I don't want to put anything behind the couch as far as. Uh, disc or not disc but VHS or whatever related or CED or whatever because then I'm gonna have to reach over the couch to get it I'm still gonna put memorabilia and stuff up here but just not the actual media itself I still got some room to play with on the walls here for that I just have to be creative in my space but looking good so far I think. What do you think, Jason? Jason says, yes. Oh, I forgot. Jason, don't talk. Neither does Michael. I just wanted uh, to make the video to show you the update and say thank you all for watching all of our videos here with the True Drop and the Bad Raven. We appreciate each and every flock member. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and check out our merchandise on T Public. Be greatly appreciated if you buy in there to support the Bad Raven and Drew Drop. I always share and like these videos if you if you don't mind. Uh, helps us out to get more subscribers. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers and anything you can do to get us up there would be greatly appreciated. So for now we're gonna let you go and we'll check in with another update pretty soon. And goodbye.